jump back out of here, I can now turn on, this is Bluetooth low energy. And again, the algorithm is constantly scanning. You can see there it, it broke a threshold and just set off an alert. I'm gonna turn on the sound just so we can hear it and we'll drill down to, to look at the, oh, excuse me, the activity a little bit closer. You can see a lot of Bluetooth low energy activity. Typically Bluetooth low energy is gonna be close proximity, 15, 20 feet. It could be a smartwatch, it could be a, a Fitbit, a lot of those type devices. Uh, a wireless mouse, a wireless keyboard, those are typically Bluetooth low energy. And you'll see a lot of devices in a small business, in an office complex, at a government facility, you may even see these pop up. So again, you need to manually go in and you could check the actual device ID here, the MAC address here, sometimes the friendly address, but more importantly, the MAC address, and look on the physical device, it'll be printed. So you could verify each and every device that appears in your list and then decide whether it's authorized or unauthorized. Again, if it is authorized, say I decide uh, this top item is, I could click on whitelist, click on the particular device, you notice it disappeared, click on whitelist again, and I wanna view the whitelist, make sure it went over there, and sure enough, there it is on my whitelist. And again, if I wanna erase it and I wanna say, hey, I made a mistake, that's okay. Just hit clear all. And that takes us through all the uh, common uh, scans for the cell phone data, Wi-Fi 2.4, Wi-Fi 5.8 gigahertz, Bluetooth, Bluetooth low energy,